Is this the year for LinkedIn? As we all know, LinkedIn is the top professional social media platform, and this is true to an extent, but we are seeing an expansion of many different channels on the platform. We are seeing more and more professionals and brands create valuable quality content. Social media websites are always adapting and changing to the latest and greatest, and this goes for LinkedIn as well. Keeping up can be quite the challenge, especially when you're trying to create the perfect strategy, but that's why we are here. We have already shared six tips for improving your LinkedIn strategy, and you can watch that video here. In this video, we will be discussing how you can leverage your LinkedIn profile, get ready to learn about advanced strategies that you can implement into your own. <laughs> The first strategy that we will be discussing may seem obvious, and yes, that's true, but it's such a crucial step when you are planning your LinkedIn strategy. Knowing your audience is not just about who you want to reach. You have to break that down even further. What demographic is your content going to attract? What type of jobs do these people hold? And most importantly, you need to understand your audience's goals, pain points, and problems. Putting yourself in your customer's shoes is a great place to start. Researching the market and understanding the trends is super key. Create an environment where conversation is welcomed. Creating that channel for your customers to express their thoughts, opinions, and ideas can really help you grasp what content you might want to put out. As you put out content, it's important to analyze your metrics, which leads us to our next strategy, which is deep diving into your analytics. Looking at your analytics can be overwhelming, but once you get the hang of it and learn about what each metric means, you'll be a pro in no time. When taking a deep look at your analytics, look for things like your worst performing post and your top performing post and ask yourself, why did this post do so well or why didn't it perform the way you wanted it to? Our analytics dashboard is the perfect tool for when you want to look at all of your content. Simply log on to your Metricool account, head to analytics, and select LinkedIn. From here, you can scroll down to your post or click the selected option at the top menu. Here, you will be able to see all of the content in the selected period. View metrics like clicks, impressions, engagement, reactions, and more. Using this dashboard can easily help you pick out your best and worst performing content. For your least performing piece of content, Try and see why it didn't succeed. Were the reactions low or was it lacking in shares? Once you identify your problems, see how you can better your wording and delivery and implement that back into your strategy. The same thing goes for your top performing post. See what you did correctly. By doing these two exercises, you will then be able to pinpoint what content is working for you. Pro tip post highly shareable content because according to our 2023 social network study, LinkedIn is the platform for sharing. And you can take a look at all the data and the link will be in the description. Now that we covered analytics, it's time to spy on your competition. If you have a LinkedIn creator account, finding your competition only takes a few clicks. To find the competitor section on LinkedIn, head to the analytics tab. From here, you will see the competitors menu, click on that. In this section, you will be able to add nine competitors to your your list. LinkedIn gives you follower metrics, organic content metrics, and trending posts. You'll be able to see how you rank amongst those in your niche, so use this to your advantage. Check on these trending posts to see if you can replicate these in your own ways. Copying content is a big no-no, and we recommend using it more so as a guide or reference for creating content. If you don't have a LinkedIn creator account, don't stress. You can find your competitors just by researching people in your industry and also companies in your industry. And what we are about to tell you will be a great resource for helping you manually find your competition. Did you know that we created a free competitor analysis template? And this template goes hand in hand with LinkedIn and will help you when strategizing. You can find it at the link below. Now that we covered competitors, have you ever thought of going live on LinkedIn? Yes, this can be intimidating, but once you get past your first one, it becomes a breeze. Talking in real time to your audience can be super beneficial. Connecting 
engaging with a live audience can really increase your leads. You can host a live solo with friends, or you can even invite a special guest. Inviting a guest or an influencer can bring in new eyes to your page, and you'll also learn about how others navigate your industry. LinkedIn allows you to host camera events and audio events. So if you're camera shy, try out LinkedIn's audio events. Creating these events on the platform is super simple. Just go ahead and set a date, a time, and a title, and you can even customize your event with a thumbnail. And pro tip, make sure you toggle on the use LinkedIn registration form. This way you can save attendees contact information for later events. Looking to host the event on a different platform or with a third party tool, LinkedIn still allows you to use their live stream tool. This time you would just need to add a link and then create the LinkedIn live event. Will you be adding live events to your LinkedIn strategy? Let us know in the comments. The last strategy that we are going to discuss is to join groups that you are interested on LinkedIn. Joining groups that are relevant to your brand can really impact your strategy. You will get to connect with people that are interested in the same topics and industries that you are. Groups are also another great way to see other professionals' opinions and ideas. Plus, it's a great way to expand your knowledge in your field. You can even post your own content in these groups, but we recommend staying away from self-promotion as this is not allowed in many LinkedIn groups. To join a group, head to the search bar and type a relevant word. For example, search marketing and click on see all results. And at the top of the page, you should see a groups button. Go ahead and click on that. We recommend joining groups that you'll know you'll interact with. Metro Coolers, that is all we have for you today. We hope that these advanced LinkedIn strategies will help you thrive on the social network. And of course, if you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask them in the comments. Make sure to give this video a like and and subscribe to our channel for more social media tips, guides, and more. See you next time, Metro Coolers.